The automaker, meantime, focusing on the road ahead, and it runs right through Detroit. Tonight, Ford giving Action News an inside look at two facilities where the future will be built, the Michigan Central Station and the Advanced Manufacturing Center in Redford. And 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner is there to show you the future of parts, plants, and people. There's no gloom and doom here. You're looking at only a few months with this new place open and $45 million invested in the future with what people are doing and experimenting with. This is Ford's future. We deliver uh, solutions to our plants that are immediately deployable and immediately scalable. This new facility is 135,000 square feet, broken down into four key areas, advanced robotics, 3D printing of parts and tools, prototypes, and the real thing, augmented reality to train workers hands-on, and virtual reality to design the assembly plant of the future. You better get back in there soon. President Trump last week criticized General Motors, announced plant closings and job cuts. So did Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan as GM plans to close the Pole Town plant, both urging the alternative. Plants should be retooled and kept in operation. Our core mission is to make sure that we have a standard suite of technology that we're deploying across our facilities. In other words, any worker and any plant can produce what's needed for the market. Now, I'm not a gamer, so That's this okay. is going to be completely foreign. Many bugs are worked out here with a virtual assembly line. I became the worker to see if theory can become reality. I also tried out augmented virtual reality. It's used to train how to assemble complex components hands on. I'm seeing a 3D hologram of this like this. You could say when you're in the driver's seat of your company's entire future, you might have some job security. And we know that with the solutions that we're deploying, we're helping Ford create value. Um, we have zero concerns. Buzz in the industry is a workforce designed for speed. That's what this place is doing. In Redford, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.